Pretty good crowd today. Keep up! It's my tempo! There's always a weakness. For a shot. Here comes the medicine. Don't worry about me. Step aside. I have the times now. <laughs> That'll take nap time. <laughs> Time for the main event. Turn up the volume! Uh. 
This battle is unavoidable. <laughs> Naughty children, don't listen. Favor the vigor of it. It's too late to repent. This song's just for you. Let's rock! Clemency? Never heard of it. <laughs> Time for the main event. Always a weakness. <laughs> Time for a shot. You're in bad shape. The time is now. <laughs> Pretty good crowd today. <laughs> Just for you. Turn up the volume. <laughs> Naughty children, don't listen. All better now? Ah, <sighs> ready to jam. Pretty good crowd today. Keep up! My tempo! Step aside. I have no interest in stoking confidence. <laughs> Time for the main event. Let's rock! <laughs> Time for a shot. Nap time. It's too late to repent. <laughs> this song's just for you. <laughs> Naughty till you're in bad shape. You'll pay for this, evildoer. Clemency? Never heard of it. The time is now. Pretty good crowd today. Let's rock! <laughs> time for the main event. Turn up the volume! This battle is evil doer. Keep up my tempo. <laughs> battle, you're in bad shape.
Hard work needs hard rest.
Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. <laughs> time for a shot. Nap time. You won't get away! My turn!
That'll take more. You're in bad shape. You have the worst luck running into me. With me out here, how can we lose? Clemency? Never heard of it. The time is now. That'll take more than me. Savor the vigor of You won't get away! My turn! Watch this! means move carefully <laughs> time for a shot you're in bad shape of precise machinations. The truth of life and death, revealed in an in this sanctuary, is but a vision! With me out here, how can we lose? Time for a detailed overhaul. No interest in still Favor the vigor. Stay right there while I give you a present. One at a time. You can't run. Still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. 
Clemency? Never heard of it. This will strengthen our force. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! Naughty children, don't you're in bad shape. for you. Clemency? Never heard of it. You won't get away! <laughs> That'll take more than medicine. Nap time. You have the worst luck running into me! With me out here, how can we lose? 
combat is a series of precise machinations. Come on, come on. That'll take more than medicine. You're in bad shape. Stay right there while I give you a present! for a detailed overhaul. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. The time is now. Favor the vigor of it. You won't get away! Told ya I could fight. With me out here, how can we lose? <laughs> Try that again! Combat is a series of precise machinations. <laughs> you can't run! Clemency? Never heard of it. Naughty chilled nap time. My turn! Stay right there while I give you a present! <laughs> Try that again! Step aside. The time is now. <laughs> You're in bad shape.
This will strengthen our position. Move carefully. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. Machinations. You won't get away. Try that again. You can't. Try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. <laughs> Time for a shot. Savor the vigor of you have the worst luck running into me! With me out here, how can we lose? Time for a detailed overhaul. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. <laughs> Truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! Combat is a series of precise machinations. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. for a detailed overhaul. Combat is a series 
of precise. <laughs> the vigor Stay right there while I give you a present! Stop. Try that again! Gotta try hard sometimes! Check out this awesome move! for a shot. The truth of life and death, revealed in this sanctuary, is but a vision! You can't run! Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. Naughty children, don't listen. You're in bad shape. Time for a detailed overhaul. You have the worst luck running into me! Watch this! Past victories don't guarantee future ones.
I found this. Here, take it. What is this? Natasha would often teach us how to make different handicrafts. This must be some kid's masterpiece. And why give it to me? You gave your medal to that kid, Eric. This thing might not be as valuable, but it's at least a replacement of sorts. But didn't someone work hard to make this? I can't just take it from here. Ugh, you sure are prissy, huh? Just take it. We've looked everywhere but he- I hope my memory- It's... Ah! Yes! We found it! Great! And it's barely damaged! Nat wouldn't have expected her old supplies from years ago to have stayed in such good condition. You should still check the expiration date for things like rubbing alcohol. If it's expired, it won't be effective. Hmm, true. Let me check a few bottles. Huh? What's this? This is... This is... Something from when I was a child. When you were a child? Are you sure? No. I remember now. I, I used to live here. Before the architects took me away, be before Madame Cocolia adopted me, I used to live here. I'm an undergrounder. You're... an undergrounder? Wait a minute. You're saying that Cocolia, the Supreme Guardian, adopted you? Then... Yes. I'm the successor chosen by the architects. In the future, I will become the guardian who leads Bellabog. <sighs> Why? Why didn't I remember this until now? My childhood memories are so blurry. No. Mother would never do that to me. There's no way she would. The architect said that the Guardian's successor is selected from among all people in Bellabog. The selection process can take anywhere from a few years to a few decades. During that time, all children of the appropriate age in both the Overworld and the Underworld will be tested. In the end, only one child deemed as worthy will be chosen. I must have been chosen from among the children here and then taken to the surface. The kids at the orphanage are always coming and going. I never thought that there would have been a future supreme guardian among us. Does Nat know about this? Could she have been keeping it a secret? I don't think she knows. The selection of the successor is done with utmost secrecy. And the child chosen must completely say goodbye to their past. And thus, I became the daughter of Madame Cocolia. My only identity is that of guardian successor. But I'm not good enough. Every 
day I see Silvermane guards sacrifice their lives in the Fragmentum, but I've never had the resolve to try to change Mother's mind. The Underworld has been struggling, but I never tried to help. I didn't even know that it was my own home that had fallen into such a dire state. In the end, I haven't been able to guard anything. How could they have thought that I was worthy to be the successor? Hey, are you done? Huh? Well, well, well. So annoying. I... Uh, what? <laughs> what? You thought I should feel sorry for you after your little speech? You can hide in your palace while you fuss over your overworld problems. And on the front line, it's not even you who's putting their life in danger. But in the underworld, what do we worry about? If we'll have food for our next meal, or survive to the next week? Even if I am but a small glimmer of light in this world, I must try my best to shine brightly for others. Didn't you say that? Well, if you really want to protect everyone, what are you standing here crying for? Get to it! You're right. You're right. Self-pity doesn't help solve anything. Thank you, Zila. Usually when I feel sorry for myself, I am met with gentle consolation. Never has anyone dared to be tough and make me snap out of it. <laughs> I'm no good at consoling, but I can hit you on the head a few times, no problem. I can tell that you have a big burden to carry. Why do you force yourself to? As the successor to the Guardian of Balabog, I must always be vigilant of my behavior and thoughts. Yeah, yeah, Lady Branya. <laughs> Miss Future Supreme Guardian comes from the same orphanage as me. Who thought it would be a good idea to put us together, huh? How about I show you around the orphanage a bit more? Unlike you, my memories from when I was little are crystal clear. Okay. I'll indulge in old memories with you for a while. I should let those two be alone for a bit. The only thing left to find is... painkillers. I'll see if there's any nearby. Danger detected. Protect Clara. Initiating active defense mode. Perkins, don't! Stop! I've seen this person before. She... she's not bad, right? Command received. Danger removed. Deactivating active defense mode. This place is dangerous. You should leave. Oh, I came here for these painkillers, too. There are a lot of people hurt at the Vagrant Camp. I guess the miners are no different? Here you are. I hope the medicine is of help to you. Mr. Sparag, he... He's my family. I met Mr. Sparg when I was real little. He took me in and took care of me. I'm really sorry about what happened back in the Great Mine. Mr. Sparg doesn't trust any humans besides me, especially everyone from Wildfire. Mr. Sparg doesn't want to hurt people, but he always follows the calculations of his analysis. 
He thinks that interaction with humans is... inefficient. Wildfire wants everyone to leave the underground, but Mr. Sparov wants everyone to stay here. According to his calculations, the overground is already unsafe. Yes! At least according to Mr. Sparog's calculations. He says that his responsibility is preservation. To do that, he must make decisions that best protect humanity. I know that Wildfire wants to talk to Mr. Sparog, but no matter how many times you talk to him, Mr. Sparog won't change his mind. So please trust me. I'll try to persuade Mr. Sparog. Hopefully one day he'll finally listen. Clara, what are you doing here? You're... Miss Sila from Wildfire. I came here to... Why are you helping the vagrants look for medicine? If they're so great, how could they make a little girl go around running errands for them? N no, it's not like that. I wasn't made to do anything. It's just that the living conditions for the vagrants aren't great. There's not even a clinic in their camp. So I wanted to help them out. Also, not all of them are bad people. Everyone just wants to survive. <laughs> Miss Sila, did this medicine belong to Miss Natasha? Then, can you give me some? The vagrant's injuries are quite serious. <sighs> I see. Let's split these painkillers then. R really? We don't need to ask Miss Natasha first? If I know Nat, she won't mind. Although, this will make it more difficult for us. She'll understand. She always does. Great! Thank you, Miss Sila. Are you leaving? This old town is too dangerous. We'll accompany you part of the way. It, it's fine. I have Perkins for company. And... I have some more things I need to look for here first. Understood. Be careful, though. Metal plates and bandages, rubbing alcohol, painkillers. Great, that's everything. Let's go report to Natasha in Boulder Town. It won't take long to get back.
So early! Let's look around. Nat, we're back. <laughs> That's our Zila. Nothing if not punctual. <laughs> so, did you find any usable supplies? Oh, let me see. Metal plates, gauze bandages, painkillers, rubbing alcohol. Ah, oh, perfect. That's everything I needed. Huh. It's just... There are less painkillers than I'd expected. Did someone break into the storage room? Clara? Huh. If she was there too, then I understand. She wants to look after the injured vagrants, right? Clara's always been a kind-hearted girl. <laughs> I think you made the right decision. <sighs> Still means I'm going to have to draw up a detailed dosage plan. Hey, don't worry. I'll help you. Um, no need. I'll handle the clinic. <laughs> I assume you three have more important things to be getting on with, right? Oleg will be waiting, not to mention your two companions. So you guys aren't that close after all? I thought you were sworn friends. <laughs> You're adorable, Branya. She was obviously joking. I bet old Oleg wants to talk about Svarog. We should get going. Sorry, Nat. We'll have to leave the wounded to you. Oh, no worries. I hope things go smoothly. Already? Aren't you? We didn't get... any rest last night. You're gonna have to step it up, you know. My record is six days no shut-eye.
Golly! Let's look around. Come around and have a look! Come around and have a look!